Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Archer's Garage and Whatnot. Today, we are back in the garage doing a little bit of mechanical work, and uh, we're working on a Ford Escape that needed a brake job. Um, a friend of mine went to the Ford dealership here and to get an oil change, and they told her she needed brakes. So uh, the estimate was $200, $300, something like that. And um, so I got the call to see if I could help out. And um, she brought the car to me, and I tore it apart, and I wanted to film this, not because I'm doing a brake job, but because this is the exact reason this channel exists. Because I used to work in a dealership. I've seen people get scammed so many times over nonsense. And um, here's one in my face, and I want to show it to you so you don't get screwed. And uh, that way you feel empowered next time you take your car to a shop and uh, they say you need something. So let me show you what we're working with here. All right, so like I said, she took her car in there, and she wanted an oil change, and they told her she needed brakes right away. She needed brakes, and uh, they showed her a picture on their phone. Didn't take her out to the car, but showed her a picture on her phone of brakes that were really, really close, like uh, almost worn out, and um, you know, they take advantage of people that don't know a lot about their vehicles, and here's a lady that they, they thought they had. So um, she brought it to me, and I want you to look at this. Look at those brake pads. So if you don't know what you're looking at, this here is the wear item, the wear portion of your brake pad. Right there, the tip of my finger. All right, let me take this apart here. I'm going to take it apart, and I'll be right back. So here it is. See how nice and juicy they are? Now, when they get to about here, that's when they're worn out. That's why we have this. That's why you have this wear groove. So, if you're not experienced, let me show you what a new one looks like. So, this one is quote unquote worn out, and my friend needed to get her brakes done right away. Here's a brand new pad. We go side by side. Well, I'm trying to get you good. Good view there. You see what I'm talking about here? Here, I'll go ahead and take it apart. You see any difference? They're the same. Brand new one versus one that they say is completely worn out. So they were going to charge my friend a couple of hundred dollars because her brakes are just slap worn out. Got to get them. So, now I know a couple hundred dollars doesn't sound like a lot, but with inflation and the cost of groceries and everything right now, here I'm trying to fight this one hand. Sorry guys. Um, you know, if you're on a single income and, you know, there's... A lot of other factors that that are challenging for folks nowadays a couple hundred dollars goes a long way brand new that's brand new I'll bet you she's got four maybe five years left on these brakes the amount of driving that my friend does four or five years left on that and they were gonna charge her a couple hundred dollars so there you go guys So there you go. Short video. I just wanted to show you what we're looking at here. Again, that is why this channel exists. I want to empower people to know what they're talking about when they go to a shop. Be able to do stuff on their own with simple hand tools, a little initiative, um, a little bit of knowledge. It goes a long way. And this right here just saves somebody a couple hundred dollars. That's groceries for a week, maybe two. So, what's your dealership telling you? I mean, anybody can do it. Pet Boys, anybody. This is a Ford dealership with Ford factory technicians. I used to work in this shop personally, and that hurts. So, I'll be making a phone call over there later to talk to the people that I still know over there to ring a bell. So, this isn't good. This makes honest mechanics get a bad name.
This is why mechanics aren't trusted. Stuff just like this. This same shop, I've seen people over there when I worked there. Every time you came in there, they'd sell you an air filter. Every time. My uh, my little daily driver, I got my Focus, I've got a little daily driver because it makes 40 miles a gallon, right? Um, I've got 250,000 miles on the car. I've replaced the air filter three times. They would sell you an air filter every single time you came in there. That's why this channel exists. You don't need to buy this stuff. If you need it, you need it. You don't need it. So anyway, guys, I hope you have a blessed day. Um, thank you for joining me. If you like this type of content, join us. Uh, hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. And uh, we'll be back for more. Thank you.